let's make it even more concrete. Walk me through takeoff again, but thinking about that pressure difference. So you're inflating the wing. Right. You pull it up. It fills with air. You start your run. Air starts flowing over and under the wing. Yep. And because of that curved top surface, the extratos, the air speeds up over the top. Creating lower pressure up there. Lower pressure on top, relatively higher pressure pushing up from underneath. Mm -hmm. And as you run faster, that difference becomes strong enough. To lift you right off your feet. That's the moment. Lift overcomes weight. You're flying. And then once you're airborne, you need to maintain that lift. What does that depend on? Two main things, really. You need sufficient air speed. The air needs to be flowing over the wing fast enough, and you need an appropriate angle of attack. That tilt you mentioned earlier. Exactly. The wing needs to be meeting the oncoming air at an angle that allows it to generate that pressure difference effectively. Then there's turbulence. A big gust can hit your wing and cause part of it, usually the front or a side, to deflate or collapse. Which ruins the airfoil shape on top. Destroys the low pressure zone there, and you lose lift in that part of the wing. The wing can dip or turn suddenly. Pilots train to handle these, but understanding why it happens is step one. And the other big one, especially for newer pilots, braking. Yeah. Overbraking, pulling too much brake slows the paraglider down. Slow it down too much and you don't have enough airspeed for sufficient lift, pull even more and you dramatically increase the angle of attack leading I'll to- I'll stall, loss of lift again. Exactly. So understanding that connection between airspeed, angle of attack, pressure and lift is fundamental to controlling the wing safely. Okay, so bringing this all together for you, the listener, maybe your student pilot, maybe just curious, what's the single most important thing to take away from all this? I think it comes back to that simple, effective explanation. The wing flies because air moves faster over the top surface, creating lower pressure above the wing than below it. That pressure difference creates lift. Just internalizing that one concept, that's powerful. It really is. If you understand that, you understand the basics of why your paraglider stays up. You have a foundation for making safer decisions in the air. You can start to recognize situations where that lift might be compromised. It takes away the magic, maybe, but replaces it with understandable physics, which is probably better for safety. Definitely. While the scientists can debate the finer points of the theories and refine the models, the practical knowledge of how and why your wing flies is solid. It's not a mystery. It's aerodynamics in action, like you said. Exactly. And your goal isn't to be an aerodynamicist, necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's to understand it well enough to fly safely, effectively, and, you know, have an amazing time up there. 